I'm Airman First Class Justin Carnahan, and I'm speaking today with Captain Copini about supplements. So, Captain, what kind of supplements are we talking about? Anything that could, or advertises that it could enhance your performance, your strength, um, or your endurance. So, what's the problem with taking those supplements? Uh, well, number one, it's, it's some sort of chemical that's going to elicit a physiological response. Um, a lot of these products can overwhelm our bodies and their ability to break things down or metabolize them. Uh, so we don't want to overwhelm our liver and kidneys specifically um, that break these products down during digestion. Um, so what are like the worst case scenarios? What can really, you know, what can happen if you take the wrong, wrong supplement? Uh, the worst case I saw when I was deployed uh, last year downrange was a uh, active duty member who took too many of these supplements and uh, had to be air evac'd for uh, supplement induced hepatitis, so liver failure. So is there like any warning labels or anything that we can use or any supplements that are that you can just count on as being safe? Uh, yes, generally speaking, um, things that are uh, vitamins or minerals are generally considered safe. Our red flags or hazardous ones are anything that have to do with uh, fat burning, uh, bodybuilding products, uh, sexual enhancement products, and diabetes products. So where can people go if they want? If you know, if they want to make sure that their supplements are safe? Uh, well, the Human Performance Resource Center is a great uh, DOD-sponsored um, tool for uh, those of us in the military, and they have uh, external links to the Natural Medicine's comprehensive database uh, that allow you to go in and get quality, safety, and effectiveness data for any of the supplements you're taking. Another thing I like about that database is that it provides um, interactions with medications you may be taking. Uh, so it'll give you a high risk, medium risk, or moderate, and low risk uh, in, in interactions with drugs.